वेलकम टू वंडर स्लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज क्विज इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिमूविंग कॉटन सीड्स फ्रॉम कॉटन पॉड्स इज नोन एज ऑप्शन ए स्पिनिंग ऑप्शन बी जिनिंग ऑप्शन सी निटिंग ऑप्शन डी वीविंग The correct answer is option B. Ginning. The process of removing cotton seeds from cotton pods is called ginning. Question number two. Natural fibers are obtained from underscore and underscore. Option A. Plants, animals. Option B. Minerals. Oz. Option C. River beds, ocean beds. Option D. Coal, petroleum. The correct answer is option A plants animals natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals these fibers can be spun into filament thread or rope and can further be woven knitted matted or bound wool obtained from hair of yak sheep cotton obtained from fruits of cotton plant are examples of natural fibers question number 3 what do you mean by fiber Option A a small cloth used to make dresses Option B long thin thread like strands Option C substance used to make plastic cakes Option D clothes made by joining fabrics The correct answer is option B long thin thread like strands Fibers are long thread like structures obtained either from man made or natural sources that are used to make thread. Question number 4. What is not the primary use of wearing clothes? Option A. To protect us from heat. Option B. To protect us from rain. Option C. To protect us from cold. Option D. To prevent diseases. The correct answer is option D to prevent diseases clothes protect us from heat cold and rain hence we need to wear clothes to protect and save ourselves from the natural elements diseases are caused by disease causing microorganisms which can enter our body and cause illness even if we wear clothes question number 5 In knitting underscore sets of yarn is used to make a piece of fabric whereas in weaving underscore sets of yarn are arranged together to make a fabric option A 2 3 option B 3 1 option C 1 1 option D 1 2 The correct answer is option D 1 2 weaving and knitting are two ways by which fabrics are made from yarns question number 6 polyester is a natural fiber option a true option b false the correct answer is option b false polyester is a man made fiber as it is prepared in laboratories from chemicals It is used in making ropes, nets, raincoats, jackets, etc. Natural fibers are sourced from plants or animals. For example, cotton is obtained from the fruits of cotton plants. Question number 7. Which of the following statements is true? Option A. Jute fibers are obtained from leaves of jute plant. Option B. A silk thread is stronger than a cotton thread. Option C. Cotton is water resistant. Option D. Wool is a synthetic fiber. The correct answer is Option A. Jute fibers are obtained from leaves of jute plant. Jute fibers also known as the golden fiber are obtained from jute plants. Silk is a really strong fiber. Some kinds of silk are stronger than Kevlar. Cotton is a good absorbent of water. 
Wool is a natural fiber and is obtained from fur of animals like sheep, yak, etc. Question number 8. Which of the following is a property of cotton? Option A. Wrinkle resistant. Option B. Fire resistant. Option C. Eco friendly. Option D. Water resistant. The correct answer is Option C. Eco friendly. Cotton is biodegradable and hence eco friendly. Cotton fabric doesn't stay wrinkle free, can catch fire and also absorbs water. Question number 9. What is the basic difference between wool and cotton fibers? Option A. Wool is an animal fiber whereas cotton is a plant fiber. Option B. Wool is a plant fiber whereas cotton is an animal fiber. Option C. Wool is not wrinkle resistant while cotton is wrinkle resistant. Option D. Cotton is naturally fire resistant while wool is not. The correct answer is Option A. Wool is an animal fiber whereas cotton is a plant fiber. Wool is the textile fiber obtained from hair of sheep, yak, etc. and cotton is a soft fiber obtained from fruits of cotton plant. Question number 10. Which of the following is the most suitable form of clothing in summers? Option A. Woolen clothes. Option B. Nylon clothes. Option C. Cotton clothes. Option D. Silk clothes. The correct answer is Option C. Cotton clothes. In summers, we sweat a lot. Cotton fabric absorbs sweat and helps the body cool down. Also, cotton clothes allow better air circulation. Hence, we should wear cotton clothes in the summer. Wool is a bad conductor of heat. If we wear woolen clothes in summer, the air will be trapped between the fabric and there will be very low air circulation. Question number 11. Cotton is obtained from underscore of cotton plants and jute is obtained from underscore of jute plants. The options in the blanks respectively are. Option A. Stem. Fruits. Option B. Roots. Leaves. Option C. Root. Stem. Option D. Fruits. Stem. The correct answer is. Option D. Fruits. Stem. Cotton is obtained from the fruits of cotton plants and jute is obtained from the stem of jute plants. Question number 12. We wear woolen garments to keep us warm in winter, as. Option A. It is easily available. Option B. It is wrinkle resistant. Option C. Its fibers are bad conductors of heat. Option D. It is a natural fiber. The correct answer is. Option C. Its fibers are bad conductors of heat. Wool is a bad conductor of heat. It traps air between its fibers. This trapped air does not allow heat to pass from our body into the surrounding. Hence, we should wear woolen clothes in winter. Question number 13. From cotton bowls, cotton is usually picked using. Option A. A loom. Option B. A knitting needle. Option C. Hands. Option D. A weaving machine. The correct answer is. Option C. Hands. From cotton bowls cotton is usually picked by hand. Fibers are then separated from the seeds by combing. Question number 14. Which of the following sequences is correct in making fabrics? Option A. Weaving spinning ginning. Option B. Ginning spinning weaving. Option C. Weaving ginning spinning. Option D. Ginning weaving spinning. The correct answer is. Option B. Ginning spinning weaving. The correct sequence which is followed to make a fabric is ginning spinning weaving. 
Ginning is a process by which cotton fibers are separated from cotton seeds. The process of making yarn from fibers is known as spinning. Weaving is a method of converting yarn into fabric in which two distinct yarns are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric. Question number 15. Synthetic fibers are made from chemicals in industries. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Synthetic fibers are made from chemicals similar to those used to make plastics. They are processed in industries to make fibers which are then spun into thread. This is why they are also called artificial or man-made fibers. Question number 16. The process shown in the images. Option A. Picking. Option B. Ginning. Option C. Sewing. Option D. Knitting. The correct answer is. Option D. Knitting. Knitting is the process by which a single yarn is used to make fabric. It involves interlocking loops of wool or other yarn with knitting needles or on a machine. Question number 17. Silkworms secrete fiber made of. Option A. Fat. Option B. Cellulose. Option C. Protein. Option D. Vitamins. The correct answer is. Option C. Protein. Silk is a natural protein fiber which can be used as a textile fiber. It is one of the important animal fibers obtained from the silkworm. Question number 18. What do you mean by fiber? Option A. A small cloth used to make dresses. Option B. Long, thin, thread-like strands. Option C. Substance used to make plastic cakes. Option D. Clothes made by joining fabrics. The correct answer is. Option B. Long, thin, thread-like strands. Fibers are long thread-like structures obtained either from man-made or natural sources that are used to make thread. Question number 19. Which among the following is not used to spin thread from fibers? Option A. Charka. Option B. Spinning Jenny. Option C. Power Loom. Option D. Takli. The correct answer is. Option C. Power Loom. The Takali is a simple stick-like device that is used to hand spin thread from fibers. The charkai is a wheel-like, hand-powered device used to spin thread from fibers. It was popularized by Mahatma Gandhi during the Indian independence movement as a symbol of self-reliance. The spinning jenny is a more mechanized device used to spin thread very quickly. It is one of the inventions that kick-started the industrial revolution in England or the power loom is used to weave cloth from threads not to make threads from a fiber. Question number 20. Which part of the jute plant is used for getting jute fiber? Option A. Root. Option B. Stem. Option C. Leaves. Option D. Flower. The correct answer is. Option B. Stem. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. It is cultivated during the rainy season. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is at flowering stage. The stems of the harvested plants are immersed in water for a few days. The stems rot and fibers are separated by hand. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.